Good greetings to the gang, bitch. Oh, shit. Damn. Bro, we lost the boondocks too fucking early. Not even finna beat around the bush with none of that. Think about this. Let me pull this up on my fucking computer real quick. But while that's coming up, I swear I'm finna, you finna get my point. Whenever the fuck the boondocks ended, I feel like that's when shit turned up. Think about everything that the fucking happened since we saw a new boondocks episode and think about what the fuck we missed out on. Like, I am not lying to you. Charleston White? Oh, shit. The pandemic? 2020, the, 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 the July shit when all the white people did something that we couldn't have never did. Stormed the Capitol. Bodies would have been everywhere. Until my corpses hit, fucked. Like, but my point, the Trump shit, the Biden shit. Oh my God, the Joe Biden on fucking boondocks. Oh man. The last big thing that we got to see from the, like, the boondocks, I want to say, and I think they did this before it actually happened, which was like the Popeye's chicken sandwich shit. That was insane. The chicken shit, that was crazy. Like, bro, 6 9 in a Boondocks episode would have laid me the fuck out. Like, the, that whole court. Like, they would have had episodes about him being in the rap game, and then he would have snitched, and then that shit would have went crazy. They would have had Cardi B and Offset. Trump almost getting shot? Ugh! Like, no lie, I'm in my underwear, so don't, I'm trying not to, you know what I'm saying? But bro, no fucking joke, that shit would have been so hard. Okay, I got it, hold on. We lost the boondocks in 2014. Man, on everything I love, that was legit right when shit started popping off. Like, I promise everything that happened, happened right after that. Boondocks episodes about COVID? And you know the boondocks was like dropping real shit. So they wouldn't have just been making jokes. They would have been making real jokes. Like when the government do some racist shit, they would have. Bro, the Sonya Massey shit just happened. That 100% would have been in there. But if the joke wouldn't have been about her for sure. That would have been in there. But then they would have definitely used that to twist it. Like they probably would have had white people in the street talking about some fucking. She had corn in the pot. Like they would have used the comedy around the real shit to actually point out the exact same shit that everybody else is saying. Like, hey, that's that was fucking crazy that that happened. All I'm saying is that we lost the boondocks at an important time. I just feel like if it wasn't for Tyler Perry, his time coming. I just feel like if it wasn't for Tyler Perry, somebody, he can't be the only one with money. Somebody got to bring this shit to life because everybody's still alive except for granddad. But we can, we, we, we can literally work with that. We ain't seen the boondocks in so fucking long that we ain't going to miss them. We, I, 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 I like the character granddad, but we ain't going to miss the character. Put somebody else in that motherfucker and let's go. Like, I just don't get it. <laughs> like, bro, imagine the Forex traders. The fuck is this? Somebody sent me some shit. I had to look at that. But anyway, just imagine Forex traders on boondocks. Like, think about that. Imagine the episode where a motherfucker trying to get somebody to join a Forex group and follow their mentor. Which is why a lot of y'all never learned how to trade, because th that shit, that was some bullshit. And then when they say no, the bitch just start cussing their ass the fuck out and, like, walk off. Because that's exactly what they was doing in real life. Like, I just know the money that could be made off real life situations. Like, I make skits about real life shit and the shit that's happening and dumb shit. And them shits be cooking. What you think would happen if the whole production team of the fucking Boondocks came together and was like, Hey man, hey man, 6 9 and Lil Dirk beefing. Why be on house arrest, crashing out? Like, it's just so much shit that would've cooked. I genuinely feel like we lost the Boondocks at a pivotal time in fucking history. The only show kinda keeping that shit together is South Park. But... South Park just don't touch the black people that like it like it could. But Boondocks touched almost touched a lot of fucking people. It was motherfuckers that watched the Boondocks that didn't even fucking like, you know what I'm saying? They don't even get the shit the same way. But they like, man, this this shit's funny. See, I feel like we need to like put the band together and bring that shit back. Twitch streamers on Boondocks. Oh, uh -huh. follow your boy on Twitch because I do be on there streaming and shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? My Twitch link is in the description, bitch. Like a in the episode about some of that shit that didn't happen with Kai. Kai takes over New York and then like get fucking fined for a riot. If you can't see where I'm getting at with this shit now, it just ain't meant to be got. But what I do know is I miss the boondocks. We could have been eating off that shit. Nah, line. Fuck with your boy. I love y'all. Peace. Coke 22 for life, bitch. Uh, I put that on my own mama. Y'all niggas ain't got nothing to say to me. I got them bands like Brazen B.
I got that cheese like grocery section. Got that cheese like rats in heaven. No nigga, we do no stressing. I already learned my yeah, lesson. I'm not from Earth, this is where I'm at. But when I leave, I'm coming no, back. No, you niggas really don't know me, bother. Then your eyes.